Hi. Now, if you watched my previous video in this series on velocity vectors, I showed you how we could convert a speed in a given direction to a velocity vector. If you're looking at this video on my website, you'll find that tutorial directly above this particular video. So, what we've got here is a car travels at 75 kilometers per hour in the direction of the vector 7i minus 24j. And what we've got to do is find the velocity of the car. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. Do come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So first of all, what I'm going to do is draw out that direction vector, taking i to the right and j upwards. So we've got our direction vector 7i minus 24j. So in other words, not drawn accurately, but 7 units across to the right, 24 units down. So we've got our component 7 that way and we got 24 units downwards. Our direction vector then is going to be from here to here. So our car is going in this direction. We'll call it the vector d. So what we need to do is find out the magnitude of this vector first of all, that direction vector. So I'll define that direction vector. I'll just say let d equal the vector 7i minus 24j. And we now have to find the magnitude of this vector. So using the normal notation, the magnitude of d is going to, by Pythagoras' theorem, is going to equal the square root then of the sum of the squares of these two sides. So 7 squared plus the 24 squared. And what do we get? Well, if you work this out, it turns out to be the square root of 625, which is 25. We don't want plus or minus. We don't need that. We just take the positive value because we're concerned with length here. OK, so that distance is 25 kilometers. Now to get the velocity vector, let's just define it first of all. We'll say let the velocity vector be the vector v. Then what we've got is that v has got to be a multiple of this vector. Its magnitude represents speed, which is 75. And we can see that this is three times more than the length that we've got for our direction vector. So our velocity vector is going to be three times more than our direction vector here. Well, rather than just write three times 7i minus 24j, what I showed you in the previous tutorial was that we literally compare the speed to the magnitude of the direction vector. Because if this was an awkward number, like say 72 maybe, then this would be 72 25ths of the direction vector. But in this case, it's so obvious, but I'm still going to write it in, 75 25ths of that direction vector 7i minus 24j. In other words, three times more because that cancels into that three times. OK, so we just need to expand it. And we've got that that velocity vector is going to be 21i minus, and then we've got 72j. If you check out the magnitude of that by doing Pythagoras' theorem, the square root of 21 squared plus 72 squared, you will find that you'll get 75. Okay.